guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this cute little frog so what you need is you'll need this green yarn as you can see and also you'll need a crochet hook which is 2.75 millimeters and also you need a needle uh, to attach all the parts together and also you'll need some wires uh, to put inside the legs so the length of the legs and that is two long wires for this for one side and the other side so you'll see at the end of the video how we use the wires okay and my yarn is the normal yarn and it's a hundred percent acrylic okay so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start with the head and body. So we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five. and six okay so and then now i'm going to place my marker over here so in the second row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of nine stitches so i'm going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch And repeat that single crochet and increase and one more time single crochet and increase Okay, so now in our third row, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet one and another single crochet. And then now in the second, uh, in the other stitch, I'm going to do three single crochets in the same stitch or increase three. Okay, so I'm going to do single crochet and then in the same stitch, do another single crochet. And again in the same stitch do the third single crochet and then I'm going to continue and do single crochet in the next three stitches so single crochet one do another single crochet and single crochet also in the next stitch okay so now again in the next stitch we're going to do three single crochets in the same stitch so single crochet in the same stitch another single crochet and one more single crochet in the same stitch and then again in the remaining um, two stitches I'm going to do single crochet so I'm going to do single crochet and single crochet so we have a total of 13 stitches Okay, so now in our fourth row, we're going to do three single crochet. So single crochet, the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and single crochet in the other stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to do three single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so I'll do single crochet in the same stitch, do another single crochet and do the last single crochet in the same stitch okay and then i'm going to do five single crochets so one two three 
four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to do an increase three in the next stitch or three single crochets in the same stitch. So do an increase three in the same stitch. Okay. And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining three stitches. Okay, so now we have a total of 17 single crochets. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to start by doing six single crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five and six okay and then i'm going to increase in the next stitch and do single crochet and repeat that two times so increase and then single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that one time increase and single crochet Okay, and then I'm going to increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then I'll do six single crochet or single crochet in the remaining six stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, four. five six so we have a total of 20 stitches okay so in our sixth row we're going to start by doing five single crochets so one two three four five and then we'll do an increase three in the next stitch so we'll do single crochet do another single crochet in the same stitch and the last single crochet in the same stitch and then we'll do nine single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then we'll do an increase three in the next stitch so single crochet and then do another single crochet in the same stitch and one last single crochet in the same stitch okay and then after that we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches so single crochet two three and four so now we have a total of 24 stitches okay after that now in the next three rows which is from row seven to row nine we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each stitch for a total of 24 single crochets okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet in every stitch all the way around Okay, so you continue doing single crochet in this row, which is the seventh row, and the next two rows, which is row eight and row nine. So I'll see you when you're done with the ninth row so that we do the tenth row together. Okay, so after you're done with the ninth row, this is how our frog looks like so far. 
so now in our tenth row we are going to start by doing eight single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then after that we're going to do a decrease so we're going to go into the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then go into the back loop of the next stitch pull through and we'll have three loops on our hook so we're going to pull through all the three loops together so that's one decrease Okay, and then after that we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that three times so single crochet and decrease and repeat that again single crochet decrease and repeat one last time single crochet and decrease okay and then in the remaining five stitches we're going to do single crochet in each stitch okay so we're going to continue and do single crochet one two three four and five okay now in our 11th row we're going to start by doing seven single crochets so one two three four five six seven and then we're going to increase in the next stitch so increase okay and then in the next stitch we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that four times so single crochet and increase and repeat again single crochet and increase Okay, repeat that again the third time single crochet increase and one more time single crochet and increase okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining four stitches So we'll have a total of 25 stitches okay so now in our 12th row we're going to start by doing seven single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven and then we're going to increase in the next stitch and then we'll do 12 single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 
12. Okay, and then we'll increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we have a total of 27 stitches. So now for the next four rows, which is from row 13 to row 16, we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 27 stitches in each row. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with the 16th row so that we start the 17th row together. Okay, so guys, after the 16th row, this is how our little frog looks like. So now in our 17th row, we are going to start by doing uh, six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and then after that we're going to decrease two times so we'll decrease And then we'll decrease again. Okay, and then after that we'll do five single crochets. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we'll decrease again. And we'll do four single crochets. So single crochet one, two, three, and four. And then we'll decrease again two times. So decrease, and then decrease again. And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches. So single crochet and single crochet. So we'll have a total of 22 stitches. So in our 18th row, we are going to start by doing six single crochets. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then we'll decrease two times. So decrease, and then decrease again. And then we'll do a single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet one and single crochet two then we'll decrease again so decrease and then do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet one single crochet two then we'll decrease again two times so decrease the first time and then decrease again and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so single crochet single crochet so that's a total of 17 stitches Okay, so now in our 19th row, we are going to start by doing five single crochets. Okay, so single crochet one, two, three, four, and 
five. And then we'll decrease two times. So decrease the first time and then decrease again the second time. And then after that we'll do single crochet and then decrease one time okay and then we'll do single crochet and and then decrease two times so decrease and decrease again one more time so now we have a total of 12 stitches so before we finish up uh, in the next row you're going to stuff the body and the head first okay so after stuffing this is how a little frog looks like so now we're going to finish up uh, our last row which is our 20th row and we're going to decrease all the way around six times okay so we're going to decrease and we're going to decrease all the way to the end so decrease Okay, so after that I'm going to go into the next stitch, slip stitch. Then I'm going to cut off my yarn. Okay, and then to close this gap, I'm going to go into the next uh, stitch and pull through the yarn. Okay, and continue pulling through until the gap is closed. Okay, and then I'm going to go into any stitch below here and pull through the yarn like that and cut off. like that so this is how a little frog looks like so this is the front side and this is the back side so now i'll show you how to make the legs okay so for the legs we're going to start with the magic ring and then five single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four and five okay so for the legs we're going to make a total of four okay so after you're done with the five single uh five single crochets into the magic ring now for the next 16 rows which is from row two until row 17 which is the last row you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of five single crochets in each row okay so we're going to have something that looks like this and you're going to make four of them okay so each row is five stitches until the end which is the 17th row okay so as you can see i made four of them that looks like this okay 
So after that, I'll explain to you how to make the toes, which is quite easy. So for the toes is to put them over here like that. Okay. And we're going to make eight of them like this. And for the toes, you're going to do four single crochets into the magic ring into the in the first row. And then after that, uh, for the next two rows, uh, which is row two and row three, you're going to continue and do single crochets in each row for a total of four single crochets in each row. So we have a total of one, two, three, three rows in the toes. Okay, so which is four single crochets in each row. So after you're done with that, I'll show you how to join all the parts together. Okay, so now joining the parts also is quite easy. So first you have to join uh, the toes to the legs. So you put the two of them both at the sides uh, of the leg. So we have three, so one at this side and one at the other side same thing with all the other legs and now after that uh, you have to look for a wire and uh, like this one so that when you put inside the leg they fold so your wire should be the length of the two legs put together like this so mine is too long so I have to fold it a little bit as you can see the way I folded it here Okay, so what I do is I'll take my legs and place it on the folded side like this inside until the end. Okay, and then I'll start with the front side. So I'll take uh, my body facing to the front and then I'll come here around almost at the middle of the of the head and put my little wire through okay and make sure both sides are adjacent to each other like that okay and then take also my other leg and put it through the other end of the wire just like that okay so this is how it looks so you can fold it we will fold it later i'll show you how to okay and then after that also the other wire you use it to put here for the back legs so here at the back like that and then we'll use a needle and yarn to sew here or you can use fabric glue to join the legs to the body and put also here at the back so guys as you can see i've already finished attaching all my legs together so after you attach all your legs together all you have to do is bend your legs upward because you have the wire which can bend upwards for the front legs and bed uh the the back legs uh backwards like this or you can shape them however you want and also i embroidered my eyes here at the top of the head so that's how it looks like okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this very easy pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also you can watch my other videos if you have uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and until next time bye